All right, in this tutorial, we're going to have a look at applying cost resources to a Microsoft Project Tasks. So, um, again, starting off here, nice and simple, three tasks, A, B, and C, five days each, and they're all just cascading along, finish to start relationships. So what we're going to do is pop over to the resource sheet and create them. So we'll call it um, Books, Pens, and Paper. Now, um, by default, it'll come up as uh, any new resource will come up as a work resource. So what we're going to do is change all these to cost, like so. And you'll see that we lose control of a whole bunch of these things here. Now, um, the accruals we have here, um, as before, prorated, uh, start or end. So I'll just set them like that. And we'll have a look at these on the, uh, on the resource sheets later on. So books, pens and paper, fine, no problem. So what I'm going to do is now apply these to the activities. Now we can't set the, the, the cost in here. So we do that uh, on the, the tasks information itself. So resource here, I'm just going to go one at a time. So books, pens, or paper I should say, and pens. So that's those. And you can see there that they've all been applied, but there isn't any uh, money associated. So what I can do is just double click into these and uh, let's say we're putting in 200 euros of books and click OK. And you'll see that it's applied there. Um, paper, so let's put uh, 1,000 euros on this. And pens, let's go crazy and say we're going to blow 5k on pens. All right, so you can see the money has now been applied there, so that makes a bit more sense. But what we're really interested in is how those are assigned. So if you just remember back to this, we have prorated start and end. So when we go into resource usage, we can have a look at this. And currently it's showing us, um, well, work there, so that's no good. So what we can do is turn off work by right-clicking and deselecting work. Right-click again and turn on cost. So you can see there. Uh, we got 40 euros popping in on those days and if I scroll around here we should see something slightly different. Now the, it's interesting the ordering has gone ACB here which is a little bit uh, messy but anyway. Now what we're not seeing is uh, the cost there so we have a work column so what we can do is just use this drop down and turn on the cost column here so there we go. So I can see there that I'm blowing uh, 200 euros on books in task A I have five grand on task C, and task B is a thousand. Now, again, in terms of uh, start prorated and end, uh, our first act, to, our first to our resource, I should say, the books were prorated. We had two hundred euros, and you see there it's broken out evenly over all five days. The next one was actually task B, and where our accrual here was at the end or the start, I should say. No, it was at the end. There we go. Um, so paper task B, uh, 1,000 euros, and you see nothing building along there until it's all applied at the end. So this might be useful for the likes of uh, subcontractor resource or something like that. And the next one then is um, our pens here. And you can see that all of the money is accumulating at the start. So we got five grand and then zero after that. So that's it, that's the basics of it. So again, very quick recap. You, first of all, you create them in the resource sheet. Then you go into your Gantt chart and you apply them um, just by using the drop downs here. And then to set the quantity or the amount of money, you double click on it and you can change it right there. Uh, and incidentally, if you are in the resource usage here, you can change the money as well. So if I wanna change that up to a uh, thousand euros, I can do it there and you'll see it's immediately reflected across. All right, thank you very much.